kind of a unpackaging, I guess, what we have here. Um, long story short, I had a Mastercraft, which is a Canadian tire brand of multimeter that uh, ended up getting lost. So I had to buy a new one. Uh, here's a basic one. It cost me $13. It was on sale. So very handy to have. Now, not a lot of excitement unpackaging this because I know exactly what I'm getting. I just peel back the cover here and all of it spews out. Uh, I wanted a multimeter that was inexpensive uh, and also I could lose it and not have to worry about it. Um, and if I quickly look around, I'm not going to find a screwdriver available really quick, uh, but I'll need to put the 9 volt battery in the back of this. It does have a cute little stand though. And more importantly, leads. And in this case, we have the common. And of course, it doesn't come with a lot of instructions either because um, it's pretty pretty basic. Nice. It does have a cap though. That's pretty sweet. And that looks like my 10 amp and that looks like my positive. So pop this off too. And there's my meter. And if I could, if I brought a, a screwdriver, in fact, why don't I just pause the video? Go ahead and do that now. Amazingly, I'm back quickly. So it's a Phillips screwdriver in the back of this. Consider this almost a, a how-to as well. So let's screw the back off here. Yeah, no surprise. Now it's gonna come, I'm guessing this is a general duty, yeah, heavy duty battery. So this won't last forever. If I put an alkaline in here, it'd probably be great. But we'll use the provided one because it's free, or at least came with it. Place that in there. Place the cap back in. This will be great for Christmas for all you moms and dads out there who get a multimeter, huh? Yeah, and all you'll know to put a battery in it. If I don't drop things, that helps. Sweet. So that's screwed down. Let's bring out our little table stand here. Wipe the cat hair off it. And it's on off, so hey, look at that. So we got AC voltage here. And it looks like we got DC amperage here. If you're testing a battery, which ultimately is just DC. Uh, geez, I put the battery in it to test it, so I'm not going to be able to. We've got ohms, and it says it's got a little horn, so that means it must... There you go. And there's a short circuit there. And then we got voltage DC. So if I had something, a battery to test up to 300, mind you, so that's some juice going there. And then off. And I'm betting this is my high. So if you had, um, if you wanted to measure like a quick surge of power, but you weren't there to look at it, you can probably click on the high button and then it would record uh, the highest voltage that it would see. So uh, comment on a lot of higher end meters. So there you go, an unboxing of a Mastercraft. 99% uh, of these are going to be stored like this. These cables are going to live probably as long as the meters, but for 13 bucks, uh, it gets me in there. So. I got some YouTube videos I definitely need to do with batteries, and I need a multimeter. Since I lost my nice fancy one, uh, this will do for now. Got any questions or want more unpackaging videos, please let me know. I'm more than happy to film myself.